looking at that type, let's do it that way. So a lot of you guys, when we are solving rational equations, like to get the common denominators, get everything that have common denominators, and then you just looked at, then you just wrote an equation with the numerators, right? Yep, a lot of you guys remember that. So here, we have all these fractions. Why don't we just do the same thing? Get them to all have the same common denominator, and then we'll just take the numerators. So what I'll do over here is I'll multiply by x over x, 3 over 3, x over x, and 3 over 3. Now, they all have the same denominator. I can just take the numerators. But a lot of people, when I would ask, when I would ask students why can you just take the numerators, most students didn't know why. And the reason why is because once you get common denominators, if you multiply by that LCD, which I did over here, my first step, what you guys see is all the denominators divide out with the LCD, right? So mathematically, it works. It makes sense. Um, but so you can get common denominators, just take the numerators, that's fine. But the reason why it works is because really, technically, what you're doing is multiplying by the LCD. Your method is just not really showing that. But either way, you're getting a 3 plus x over x minus 3. So a rather easy, thank you. All right, and now let's look at the restrictions. Based on my simplified answer, what can x not equal? And then based on my original equation, what can x not equal? There we go. That would have been cool, though. <laughs>